Hi, I'm Bailey, and this is our book club book, All American Boys. The genre is realistic fiction and it's by Jason Reynolds and Brennan Keeley. The book is about two boys, one black, one white. The black boy, Rashad, gets beat up by a cop for crimes that he did not commit. He must come to terms with the fact that he is not the only person affected by racism and police brutality. The other boy, Quinn, sees the cop who beat up Rashad as a sort of father figure, and he must come to terms with the fact of does he support his family or does he support what's right. The authors use figurative language a few times in the novel, such as this quote, like he was scum or less than just because of the way he looked, skin like coal, hair like cotton, or the other quote, oh, it matters. If it walks like a duck, talks like a duck, then it must be a duck. Both of these quotes were added to show the appearance of African Americans, good and bad, using similes and descriptive language. Throughout the book, many changes happen to the main characters. For example, Quinn comes to term with his own internal thoughts about racism. He realizes that he has to choose whether to stand up for what is right or to stand by his family. Rashad, on the other hand, eventually sees that he is not alone and not to be afraid to speak up about his experience. In the beginning, he felt alone and he tried not to think about the tragedy. But in the end, he decided that his portrait needed a face and to be the face for all other victims of police brutality. Some of the most important static characters were Guzzo and Spoonie. Guzzo pushed Quinn to stand by family throughout the whole mess and caused a lot of internal and physical conflict in Quinn's life. Spoonie, on the other hand, was very passionate about his feelings about Rashad's condition and showed Rashad that it's okay to feel things. He also helped Rashad's story be seen and heard by people in the school. The obvious themes of all American boys could be police brutality and racism, but when you look like deeper into it, another theme could be facing your problems head on and not avoiding them. Some key passages in the novel are on page 184 when Quinn comes to the realization that he is avoiding the idea of racism. I'm not racist. She hesitated. I sat there sinking in my own seat, needing her to say something. Eventually she did. Not like KKK racist, she said. I don't think most people think they're racist, but every time something like this happens, you could, like you said, say, not my problem. You could say, it's one thing, it's a one-time thing every time it happens. This is where Quinn realizes that he's avoiding all the problems that are happening at school and he needs to take action. Another key passage is on page 245 in Rashad's point of view when Miss Fitzgerald is talking to him about her brother and how much courage it took just for him to stand up for what he believed is right. This taught Rashad that it's okay to be afraid, but it's better to act on your beliefs than stand in fear for the rest of your life. 